Okay, so this is the new Vector dash mount. And I've already got it installed, but it's just a quick install. I can talk you through it instead of having to walk you through it. So reason I got this is because I've got I had suction cups on here for my youth my GoPro cameras. I had other stuff. I need my phone to hang somewhere. I just need a better place to organize everything. And these are the best thing around, best thing on the market for this for a Jeep. Uh, they're a little pricey, 200 and some bucks for this little bar and so it's pretty steep but there's really nothing comparable that's like it so I bought the bullet and did it and so what happens is you have uh, these little grates up here along the top here that's just one of these comes out so it's just like this you just put a screwdriver in there and just pry it out it comes out very easy one on here and one on this side and what they give you is these little uh, round things all that does is go down there and just screw on top of a screw that's sitting down there waiting and doing nothing and then there's a screw on top of the allen wrench that just goes in to screw in to hold this thing in so you got one of those on each side to do that and then this middle compartment also um, you take your stuff out and you take your little tray out this tray that sits in a lot like that and then there's a hole with a screw in it and so you take that screw out take take the tray out take the screw out put this in and there's a little spacer to raise it up more notice i have this red stuff that raises it up more i use the spacer to raise it up a little more so it's easier to get stuff wrapped around here to attach and then you screw your screw back down in there to make it solid and connected here you won't get your plastic tray back in because this bracket and stuff but that's okay because i mean it's still a tray you can still put your stuff down in there no big deal so you don't lose anything so uh that's how it's installed that's how it looks installed with nothing on it and that's how it looks from the front so so far so good and let's get some stuff on it all right so i'm going to give you a budget option here there are um really expensive attachments for phones and ipads and all that kind of stuff and there's um there's not a lot of options that are very budget oriented so um i'll give you one 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 drawback is it's not a phone holder that you just snap in with one hand uh, you got to set it in here like this or whatever phone you got and just you just tighten this so it only takes a second i do it on my motorcycle all the time because that's where i've had this and you tighten it up and it actually i just leave it in the case and everything i don't take it out of the case it holds snug right on the edges so it's perfect for that so I just screw it tight in there and it's good to go so now if i have this and this is just a little inch adapter for any kind of bar and this is for a motorcycle handlebars so that's where i've had it and i thought you know what it might work perfect around this bar this is the vector bar that kind of standard attachment that things can attach to so what i'll do here is i'm going to put it right here in the middle and so it's not in my face all the time but it's right here on the side and the cool thing about this is that it'll go right here and it'll stay right here and whenever I want to flip it, I just flip it because this thing turns. So then I'll flip it like that. I can watch it horizontally if I'm watching a movie or something while I drive and then flip it back and now it's vertical again. So very slick that way. And this thing was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's from China, but some, some stuff from China just works. So this is one of those things that works. Um, I'll have to, I'll put the brand name and put the link on there where I got it or what it is uh, in case you want one. But I mean, this has been great. It's solid, it screws tight. It's the GT, whatever that says. But anyway, I'll put a link in there. But I've been very happy with this thing on my motorcycle and I think it's gonna work right here because it's gonna go right there. But here's the drawback. Because of this red stuff, because there's not a lot of clearance here, I'm gonna have to unscrew this, lift it up a little bit, put this underneath and then screw it back down because it's just, it won't fit under there. No way to do it. So fortunately, um, as with a lot of attachments you're going to put on here, they may be a little different or may be a little we weird the way they go on. Uh, but fortunately, this is easy enough to just unscrew these top two screws or three screws out of there and lift it up a little bit enough to get your, your adapter on and then put it back down and then you're good to go. And it'll be great because right now I just set my, I hook my phone up to Apple Play all the time. And I just set it down in my drink holder or whatever, and there's no place for it to go, and I got to pick it up all the time. And it's a pain. I don't like it. I like. I want to be able to have it right there wherever I need it, especially the ability to just flip it horizontal or flip it vertical, which is really cool on this adapter. Um, and especially for the price, because what will happen is uh, some of those adapters are $150 just for an iPhone. 
$200 just for an iPhone adapter to hook onto this thing. And they're not made by Vector, they're made by other people, but um, man, they're expensive. So I'll be searching on Amazon and I'm gonna put this video together after. So I'll give you some links to some cheaper stuff, some budget stuff to find, or the expensive stuff if you wanna spend money. So it is loose, got the screws undone. Now I just need this and this, put this thing together and lift it up enough to get it in here. And that's it. I will put that thing right there. All right, flop that baby in there. It's not gonna be this loose usually, so it'll only take me a second. And it's done. Even face ID. Let's see, it's just enough to see my face, so it's gonna be unlocked. That's beautiful. You'll die so as an example, as I'm driving, oh. so here's what you'd see. I can flip it sideways, I see movies or whatever. It's almost as big as my other screen, that which can't play DVDs while I'm driving. But uh works great. I'm gonna just flip it up like this. It's going. Flip it down like that. It's going. What is it, Kilo? Works like a chant. So far so good. So this is an example of what you might see on the Vector Off-Road website, because they have a few accessories, not very much, but they have a few. And this was an example of an iPad mini holder that connects to that vector bar. And so what you'll see here is the holder for the iPad mini and the little adapter and then this extension arm, which can be short or long, depending on which one you choose, and this round thing that attaches to the bar. So that whole thing, just to mount your iPad, is a whopping $143 just for the adapter. So that's pretty steep. Hopefully I'm going to find another option cheaper than that for the iPad to mount on there because I'm not going to pay that much for this um, because I think I can find something a lot cheaper, just like I did with the phone adapter. And then um, this 67 Designs website, 67D.com, this is a popular accessories for this kind of stuff. I was actually surprised with the popularity of how few things they had. I mean, they only have a handful of little things on here that go to that bar or even don't go to the bar. These just mount into your, your dash by themselves. So these are standalone accessories. But you can buy these short or long bars to hook on to them. And like this one, this is a popular phone um, adapter. So this is basically the same thing that I just did for 20, 30 bucks on mine. And this is one that connects back there and has a big long arm that sticks out and you just stick your phone in there and you're off and running, but that's $89. So over twice or three times as much as I paid for mine. And I don't know that I'd be any happier with that because it's carbon fiber and it's nice quality. That's great. I just, I don't care. I just want it to hold together and work. So, um, I'm going to look for some other options to be able to find something cheaper than the expensive stuff. Okay. Here's the finished product. I've got the bar in. I've got the phone adapter that connects. You got the iPad adapter. And I the or GoPro adapter up there. And it's ready to mount anything else we want to mount to it. But that works perfect because now I can sit here, drive off road. Have my GPS going right there, have my phone right there, and be able to see what's going on. This is how this thing connects. Right there, with one of those adapters. Goes on there and goes on the ball on the back of the iPad adapter here. So that's a RAM mount. A lot cheaper than some of the other ones.